That's right. So the Food and Wine Festival is back. This is year number three. And I'll tell you, it's just one of those awesome events that really showcases what makes this area so unique and so special. I'd like to welcome back to the show, Jan, and welcome Ian to the show. Now, Jan, Garley, now she is the festival founder. Every year you come on and you give us an education of what it's all about. And Ian McWilliam, uh, you're with Cisco, Italian specialist. So in a little bit, we're gonna really learn about your expertise and this smells delicious over there. So we're all excited and drooling over that. So Jan, how did you start this in the first place and why? So it uh, started like right on the heels of COVID as we were reminiscing yeah. um, because St. John's County really wanted a culinary tourism destination event. And so we had done the Savannah Food and Wine Festival for many years and uh, made it happen, you know, right in May of 21. And it's really grown this year. We've got a record number of restaurants participating, over 40 restaurants and culinary stations and 350 varieties of beverages to taste. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, so lots of different things this year, too. We're doing a new event called Tacos and Tequila. And WJXT will mix. be out there live <laughs> on that Friday, May 5th. And um, just some really neat new activations as part of the festival. So lots of fun things. The Publix cooking stage demo where Cisco will be doing a demo and Publix will also be doing a demo. Uh, we've got, you know, live music going on. We've got all kinds of uh, fun things. The Kentucky Derby hat contest at the Grand Tasting. So lots of fun things. Absolutely. And one of the things that I love too is that, especially that area, St. Augustine, there's so many restaurants and a lot of times you go to the one that you know about, right? But here you could really discover other treasures that are out there and really give other opportunities to different Absolutely, vendors. and there are restaurants from all over the South, from uh, Savannah, you know, Hilton Head, uh, Charleston. So there's some unique tastes that you might not normally get to, you know, try. Absolutely. All right. So we're talking about all this food, right? So now let's uh, let's learn how to cook something. So Ian, you are <laughs> up. This smells delicious. Is that just the straight up bacon that I it's smell over there? Pancetta yeah, and pancetta fat. So it's Love hard it. to go wrong. Love it. So yeah, we're making a dish called uh, pasta al vino russo con pancetta, so really just uh, pasta, red wine, and pancetta. So we, uh, we cooked our beautiful, this is an imported pasta from Italy, a company called La Molisana, really like the cleanest pasta you can get. Mixed with, mixed with spring water, made in the mountains, 14% protein. It's cooked with a little mixture of red wine and, uh, and water, um, and that gives that sort of deep red color. And so we reserved our cooking liquid, rendered off our pancetta, a little bacon, uh, Italian bacon, a little black pepper, and then to bring it back up, we save that, that cooking liquid nice and sort of starchy. It goes in, gets nice and hot, and that's what allows us to sort of bring this whole thing back up. So the goal is, we're going to be doing this on the demo stage out there. The goal is to show sort of unique, interesting pastas that, uh, that people may not be familiar with, they can do really easily at home. Yeah, yeah. I love that, because it's a handful of ingredients, but it's going to make a big difference than the conventional, just some noodles and hundred percent, yeah, marinara. 100%, yeah, we're not doing any spaghetti and meatballs out there. So, <laughs> so yeah, this dish is, uh, is really, you'll see versions of this all over Italy, right? So you're going to see versions from Tuscany, you'll see versions from uh, Umbria, you'll see versions from Sicily. We're doing the Tuscan version, which really has a lot of similarities to a really popular dish right now called Caccio Pepe. Right, so really a lot of that flavor comes from the pasta water, pecorino cheese, and black pepper. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about the, the Food and Wine Festival. Uh, Cisco has really worked with Jam in the past and had a, a real pleasure doing it. Um, we're actually donating the food to all the restaurants out there. Oh, that's great. Just, yeah, everything, you know, pretty much. That and restaurant community is our community, so we want to make sure we support them in any way we can. Again, yeah. there's beverages out there to try, obviously dishes, but then the other thing, too, is you could actually develop your skill set, right? Yes. And you can see, like, an expert like yourself put something together, and like you mentioned, not that many ingredients, but yet a ton of flavor there. Exactly, and that's our goal, you know? We, uh, we partner with Jen in other events, and, and we really had some really great response, and we just love getting in front of the community and supporting our, our, our restaurant family, you know, supporting other, other people coming to town. So we might able to be able to cook a restaurant-style dish at home with no problem. So. And a lot of the restaurants aren't aware of some of these products, so it's a really good way for Ian and his team to showcase some things they might not know about. Absolutely. It's a win-win for everybody there, that symbiotic relationship. So uh, May 3rd, 
through the 7th. So that's when it's happening. You go to St. Augustine Food and Wine Festival.com to get your tickets. And I would imagine you go there is a calendar of events oh, really yeah. helping you to navigate it. Absolutely. All the info you need is on the website. Well, thank you so much for all your thank time you. and information. And congratulations on year number three. Thank and you, so you know, I think this is making a huge difference in the community yeah, and you know absolutely. really all the players around that area. Yeah, thank you, WJXT, for your support. So it is our pleasure. <laughs> all right, we'll stick around more to come right after this.